Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. While scrolling through Reddit as well as my Discord, a lot of people were bringing up this UNAS backup so that we could back up our photos from our phone or iCloud directly to it. And that backup app is called Parachute Backup Mobile for our iOS devices, and they also have a Mac application. Now, a lot of people wanted to have this functionality, but Ubiquity hasn't put it out. So this is the solution that we're gonna go with. So let's get right into it. Now, over on my iPhone, the first thing we need to do is obviously download the application, and this does come at a cost. I believe in the United States, it's $3.99. I paid $4.99 for it. Once we have it downloaded, we could open up the application. The application says, welcome to Parachute, and we're gonna slide over. What is backed up? So Parachute backs up your photos or selected files. On each run, any missing files or updates to existing files are copied over. Parachute never deletes your files. Application data, such as files stored in the numbers or pages application folders, must be selected independently on your full iCloud Drive folder. Next, we get to choose our source and then we choose our destination. After that, we have a run now or we could do it on a schedule. In the very last slide, it says private by design. Everything runs on device. No data is sent to parachute. Your data is only set to the destination you configure and then we're gonna press done. I'm going to leave a link to the application down in the description below as well as a link to the Reddit post so you could read through that if you want. But before we get started with the application and start pushing our photos up to our NAS, I'm gonna create a new shared folder. So on my UNAS, we're gonna go new shared drive. I'm gonna call this photos backup. I'm gonna use my storage pool one and we're gonna enforce the limit because I don't wanna go over one terabyte for this. And then we're gonna add all the admins because that's who I have. I only have myself on this UNAS and we'll press add. One thing we need to do before using the parachute app is to go over to our files and we need to connect our UNAS server to it. Within our files, we're gonna click the three dots up top here and we're gonna to connect to a server. Now I already have a bunch of servers already selected but you're gonna to wanna to grab your SMB and mine's for 192.168. 10.133. It's going to ask us for our username and our password, and we're going to press next. And now we're connected to my UNAS on my phone, so we could go back to the Parachute app. The first thing within the Parachute app that we need to do is to select a destination. So we'll click on there, and then we're going to add the destination. We have a couple different options here. We have Select with Files app, we have Google Drive, and then we have OneDrive. We're going to select with the Files app. Now within my files app, we could see the shared folder, which is my UNAS. I'm gonna click on it and then we're gonna select this photo backup. We could see that the configured destination is currently online, so we should be able to push our photos to it. We have two different things that we could choose from for our configured sources, which is photos and we also have files. Right now we have no authorization to my photos, so I'm gonna click on it and we're gonna give it authorization. So we're gonna request the access and we're gonna say allow full access for this. There's a few other settings that we could also choose to turn on. So we have additional media types. So if you want raw format and we also want our live photos, you could turn those on or off. So let's click parachute backup. Right now I don't have anything backed up and I don't have any schedules. I'm just gonna try to back up my full photo library. And the type is gonna be photos and we could see that my destination, that would be my UNAS and we're gonna press start. I have about 5,000 photos in there, so we'll see how long it takes. Okay, we can see that I have 6,499 photos. I'm gonna look at the time now, it says 11.05, and then we'll be back once this is fully downloaded. The backup is now complete, and you can see that took about a half an hour, and it's all gonna depend on your network infrastructure, how fast it's gonna go, but for over 6,000 files, I think that's pretty decent. Now, there are a few other things that we could do, like setting up a different schedule. So I don't have a schedule right now, but I'll click schedule. And then we're gonna add a schedule to this. Now we could name the schedule up top. I'm just gonna have it at new schedule. And then we have our type. We could do our frequency. So we have daily, we have weekly, or we have monthly. I'll leave it on daily at two in the morning. And then requirements, we could have it on power. We also have different routing. So the routing is just to our destination folder. So I'm gonna press save. And now every morning at 2 a.m., the new photos that I put in my phone will be backed up to my UNAS. Let's go ahead and move over to my UNAS and take a look how the file structure is. Over on my UNAS, we could see the photo backup was 36 gigs, but let's go into that shared folder. So we'll click on all files, and then I'm gonna click on the photo backup. From the photo backup, we could see that it's doing it per year. So we have 2020, 
all the way up to 2025. I'll click over on 2020. Now it's gonna show, I think this is the different months of what I had photos in and we'll click on 12, so that would be December. And then we'll click on 01 again. And this is gonna be a photo. Let's click on the photo or we'll download the photo and see what it is. All right, and there is the photo and that is of one of my cats when they were just a kitten. So this does work really well and has backed up all my photos. So now on my iPhone, I could delete all of the photos to make some more room. And that's gonna be it for this video for bringing your iPhone photos over to your UNAS using the Parachute app. I would assume if you're not local, if you're not at home, say you go on vacation, that you could connect to a VPN and you could upload your photos as well, as long as you could get to your UNAS. I assume the dev is going to be in our comment section. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and they probably will answer as I did DM them over on Reddit earlier this morning. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.